Hey y'all, um, today I'm going to be making some baked beans. I've shared with you my mom's baked bean recipe, which is always our very favorite. But I saw this baked bean recipe, um, I'm not really sure where, but it sounded good and I thought, well, I just think I'll give it a try. So, um, we're going to my daughter and son-in-law's for supper tonight and I'm taking baked beans, potato salad, and peach cobbler. And I have a video uh, I will put up of the potato salad. I just finished it. Now I'm doing the baked beans. So I'll go ahead and get started. And I've turned my oven on um, three, I mean, yeah, 350. And this will cook covered for an hour and a half. And so I'm gonna spray it just to help with cleaning later. And I'm gonna put a 55 ounce can of baked beans in there. These are the home style. You can use whatever brand you like, whatever flavor you like. You can use the two 28 ounce cans or the 55 ounce can, but the measurements I'm giving you are for either one of those. So if you make uh, a, small, a smaller batch, you might want to uh, cut this recipe in half. So it's real simple. You just put everything in your, uh, in your dish. So uh, to that, and I'm having to look at my recipe here. You put a third of a cup of ketchup, and I'm not measuring. I'm just putting it in. You know, sometimes my measuring is a little bit off. A half a cup of barbecue sauce, and I got this at Aldi's, and this brand Berman's is so good. It is a real good barbecue sauce. So half a cup. And then uh, two tablespoons of Worcestershire. There's one. Oops, and there's two. And half of a tablespoon of mustard. And one tablespoon of minced garlic. I believe I need just a little bit more. And a third of a cup of honey. and some cilantro. Let's see, just throw some in there. It doesn't have a measurement. And it does not call for brown sugar, but I'm gonna put a little bit because I love brown sugar in baked beans, so. I'm gonna put about half a cup. Whoops, about three fourths a cup. Also, in baked beans, I like green pepper. 
and this has got green and red. I'm adding, this is dehydrated. I'm not putting a whole big bunch, but I am putting some. I got this from um, Amazon. It was about $12 for this big container and it has lasted me a long time and it still has plenty in there. So, um, I like the fact that I can always have sweet pepper with that. Let me grab a spoon. So what we want to do is just stir this up. This really smells good without even uh, cooking it yet. Smells real good. And those dehydrated peppers really smell good too. Okay, we have that stirred up. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna push this out of the way. And I'm gonna cut my onion and put it on top. That's my oven, it's uh, come up to heat to 350. peel off the other side. Okay. There's a little bit on there. So what we want to do is just slice this like this. Not too thick and not too thin. And then we want to just sprinkle it all over our beans. And if you don't want to use as much as I've used, of course you don't have to. And these pieces are big enough if somebody doesn't like onion they can always just pick it out. Like Kaylin, she does not like onion. And then, our very last thing is bacon. And I got this bacon in food line, it's seasoning bacon ends and pieces, but we use it to um, have for breakfast. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever that you couldn't do that. So I'm gonna cut off some. This gives the beans such a good flavor. And I'm just, it's really better to probably uh, cut this in little pieces and lay it, but my knife just didn't cooperating. So I'm just gonna leave it in the bigger pieces. It doesn't really matter. Put a little bit more. And 
and that is it. Um, like I said, we're gonna put it, well, let me bring it up here. We're gonna put it in the oven on 350 for an hour and a half covered. And after that, it should be done. If you think you need to uncover it for a little bit and let it go, maybe to brown up your bacon a little bit, that's fine. It won't hurt anything, but um, that is it. When it's done, I'll uh, come back and show you the finished product. Okay, baked beans have finished. I'll show you what they look like. Um, I would have let them cook a little longer uncovered after an hour and a half I um, uncovered them. And I would have let them go about a half hour uncovered, but we ran out of time and we have to get to my daughter's. So this is what they look like. And uh, Randy has tasted them. And he said that they're better than my mom's. So they gotta be pretty good to be better than my mom's. So I have some on a spoon here. Uh, so they could be cooling because they're popping hot. And I'm gonna give them a try and tell you if I think they're better. So there they are. Oh, wow. These are good. I think they're maybe just a little different than my mom's, but still they might be better than my mom's. So anyway, give these a try if you are wanting to have some um, baked beans because these are very good. I'm really shocked that they're that good, but this may be my new baked bean recipe. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourself. And as always, do something kind for yourself and kind for someone else too. You'll get a blessing, I promise you. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.